How did we go from a Yorkshire man walking his dog to what is now a world-renowned Mesolithic site? <laughs> of all things to notice when walking his dog through the Yorkshire landscape, John Moore never expected to see a piece of prehistoric flint poking out of a ditch. The story of Starkar had begun. John Moore is the, the hero of the story, really, because he is the first person who found the site and uh, nine other sites in this area. As, as all children do, I asked why, and, and he was prepared to talk to me. John Moore was very good like that. Come and have a look at this. This is a piece of horse or a piece of deer. And on walking back on one occasion, John Moore came across a rabbit hole where he dug out some of the excavations from the river and amongst the spoil was a scraper. So that's how Stark Hall was found. John Moore may have discovered the site, but Graham Clark made the most exciting discoveries in the years that followed. Imagine his surprise when he uncovered a wooden platform, the earliest example of carpentry in Britain. The, the wooden platform that he found was just a great, um, lots and lots of pieces of wood, all kind of intertwined. Um, and he thought that this was really important. He thought that people were actually living on this platform on the edge of the lake. When we dug in this area, all of our trenches really found the platform. So we now know it extends for over 10 metres. Uh, and it's really a massive structure. And it's not what we expect for uh, sites of this age. It reinforces our idea that Starkar is actually a sort of special place in the landscape. It's a, pe uh, uh, a place people return to again and again. Mm and they invest a certain amount in, in this particular place in making it sort of special to them, and the platform's part of that. The site lay quietly for many years, until the last decade, when a new generation of archaeologists made an astonishing discovery. We knew that people had built structures in the Mesolithic, but we had no idea that uh, houses dated that far back. It's, it takes it right back to, uh, well, 11,000 years ago, and so it was a, an amazing surprise. It was a, a great find. Mm -hmm. To, to get out of the ground and um, we knew that something was there when we started digging it because there were so many pieces of flint coming up but we had no idea that we'd find a hollow and some post holes around it. So. Our journey is now drawing to a close. It started with a Yorkshire man walking his dog but where is the end for Star Car? <laughs> The wetland area doesn't really have much of a future. Uh, certainly the range of artefacts that Clark was getting, we don't get any more, we just get these poorly preserved bits of bone and antler. So on the dry land, uh, we hope, we're hope we really hoping to find some more houses which will tell us that more people were living here. We're going to try and get as much information out of it as possible before it goes completely. There's hope for this landscape yet in terms of finding out more things. It was magic to be, to be digging it in these trenches and finding, you know, spear points and various other things. As a child, it was, you know, it was out of this world.